Now that we've properly hydrated our shoe luster cream, you may choose at this point to add a shoe wax polish to the top of it. Now this is not 100% necessary, but it does help with water resistance. Now, the only thing to note with shoe wax is that it can build up. So you want to make sure that when you're applying it, you can apply one coat overall just fine. But after that, you don't want to build up a lot of shoe wax in this part of the shoe where it's going to bend and crease. And you might eventually actually see those creases more visibly with the polish than you would without. So in this case, we do have a shoe wax polish that does match the color of our shoe. So we're going to be starting off with an oxblood shoe polish for the shoe. Now, it does have a burnish to it, so we might end up choosing to burnish some of the darker areas with a black at the end. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and start with the oxblood and see where that gets us. For this, I am using a horsehair brush. You can also apply it with a clean cloth, and you can also buff in the end with a fine microfiber cloth. Just as we did with the luster cream, we want to work in circles, not building too much up in one particular area. And just as before, we're going to give it a little bit of time, five to 10 minutes to soak in. Once we let the shoe polish soak in for a little while, we're going to take either a clean microfiber cloth or a clean brush and begin to remove and brush off the excess. You'll start to notice at this point there is a distinct shine that you'll start to see showing up. And in the end, if your shoe isn't quite shiny enough for your liking, you can always apply more layers of that wax. Just focus on areas such as the toe and the back heel area, so that way you don't end up with any cracking due to wear. 